So today I have a three second video clip that I'll be using to help us understand what the differences are between rewind and the reverse segment. Now to get started, the first thing I'm gonna do is to demonstrate how reverse segment works. To do that, we're gonna go to Retime Controls, and then we're gonna click Reverse Segment. And once we do that, let's have a look at what Reverse Segment is doing to our current video clip. So as you can see now, everything in our video clip is now playing in reverse, and the original duration of the video has not changed. And we can achieve a similar effect by using Reverse Speed. And to do that, we're simply gonna go to Change Clip Speed, and select Reverse Speed, and then hit change. So now as you can see, everything is also playing in reverse while maintaining the original duration of the video clip. Now, what about rewind? So if we were to go ahead and select retime controls again, but instead of selecting reverse segment, we're gonna go ahead and select rewind at 100%, uh, just for the sake of this demonstration. You will see that this will create two additional video clips one of which will reverse everything in the video, and then the other one will revert it back. This will create a type of rewind effect that you see very often in commercials or TV shows uh, or video clip intros and what have you. And this is a key difference between rewind and the reverse segment because reverse segment doesn't change the duration and it reverses simply everything that is in the video. Now, another key difference is that Rewind also can work on a particular part of a video. So where the playhead is right now, if we were to go ahead and select Rewind at 100% again, you will see that this will create a rewind effect for only that part of the video, while the rest of this video clip remains intact. Now, this is not gonna be the case with Reverse Segment. So where the playhead is right now, if we were to go ahead and select Reverse Segment instead, you will see that it will just simply reverse everything that is in this video clip while maintaining the duration and it doesn't work on a particular part of the video. So these are the key differences between rewind and the reverse segment. Another scenario I want to talk about is when we have speed point because in reality we tend to work with speed point quite a lot. So if we were to go ahead and set up a speed point right now on our current video clip you will see that on both parts of this video, we lose the ability to reverse segment, but we still have the ability to create rewind effect. So if we were to go ahead and create a rewind effect for this first part of the video, you will see that it's gonna do exactly uh, what we expect it to do. What if we want to reverse segment only the first part of this video clip? Well, we can still do that. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a marker then we're gonna get out of the retime controls and then we're gonna go ahead and just select or cut off this first part of the video. And then we're gonna change, uh, go to change clip speed, select reverse speed. And now this will create that reverse segment effect for only this part of the video. Now your question might be, what if for this part of the video, uh, we go ahead and select retime controls and we try to select reverse segment. Well, as you can see, we still don't have the ability to do that. So in order to bring that ability back, what we need to do is go back through that original video and we need to clear our speed point. And once we clear our speed point and we're gonna get out of our retime controls and we're still gonna cut off this first part of the video, now, if we go ahead and select retime controls again, for only this part of the video, you will see that we now have the ability to reverse segment. So if we go ahead and do this, you will see that it will reverse segment only this part of the video while the rest of the video remains intact. So another question you guys may have at this point is what if we have multiple speed points? Will it change things? Well, let's find out. So if we go ahead and set up another speed point on this video clip, you guys will notice that the first part of this video, as well as the last part of this video, I still don't have reverse segment, but the middle part of this video now, all of a sudden, has reverse segment. But will it do what we expect it to do? Well, let's find out. So if we go ahead and play, you will notice that the video is looking a bit strange. Uh, we're all of a sudden seeing some unseen video clips. And if we slow it down, you will see that not only is it reversing the first part of the video, but it's also continuing to retrieve further video clips. And then it will revert back part of that unseen video clip. So the whole thing is just kind of off. 
And it's doing that because, well, although we're using only three seconds of the footage, there are still some unused video clips from the original footage. So that's definitely not what we, what we wanted to do. So in order to achieve a true reverse segment on this video clip, what we're gonna do is go ahead and set up our markers uh, based on the two speed points, and then we're gonna get rid of our speed points. And then, as you can probably expect, uh, we're gonna make a cut based on the two markers, like what we did earlier. And then for this part of the video, we're gonna go ahead and select read time controls, and then select reverse segment. So now you will see that the only this part of the original three second video clip is getting reversed and that's what we want the reverse segment to do to this part of the video okay guys i hope this helps and i will see you next time